who are some players to watch for at the Halinka? Yeah, I would love to be able to dive into this. At this uh, that's point, from Freddie yeah. Goudreau Respector, by the way. At Good call. password is whiskey. <laughs> very, very, yes. Perfect. All right, we uh, need to talk to this guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the only rosters that have been um, published are Canada and the U.S. So on the Canadian side, the obvious ones um, with Celebrini. Um, but, I mean, there's also a couple of guys that I'll be curious to see. Like for 2024 specifically, another top traffic that will be there, Berkeley Catton um, from Spokane. Mm -hmm. Um, another guy who's projected, I think right now to go pretty high in the first round, Maxime Massey, great name. Um, and then Sam Dickinson, Henry Muse, we talked about him la or talked about both those guys last week, but a couple other ones that are like a couple guys that were really fun to watch this past season, Zane Parekh, um, uh, defenseman, right shot demon, um, Charlie Ellick, a big boy, another right shot demon, six foot three, plays for Brandon WHL, had a real good year, the WHL. Um, so those are two guys that specifically I'll be curious to see and see how they do and how they fare. Um, because there are a couple of fun players to watch. Michael Misa is a 2025 eligible and was unbelievable in the OHL. He played on the same line as uh, Hunter Hate quite often. Um, and they enjoyed their time together for sure. Uh, and they will again. Um, real good player to watch too. So it's always nice when you have like not just this upcoming draft like players from there, but there's a couple guys from the 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 next year that'll be there too. So I'm happy to see Michael Misa be there. And then I got to pull up USA's because in, in light of the 2025, I'm curious to see if Hagen's is going to go too. Um, because yeah, they've been squared, they've squared like off a few times. He might be pivoting Boston University now, is what I'm hearing, which is super not Ooh, fun. Oh my god. Um, oh, USA, I thought they did post their roster, maybe they didn't. Um, well, but I would say we'll, we'll leave yeah. it up to you if you want to jump well, actually, on, this on Sunday. We can talk all about the Halinka rosters that'll definitely be out because that's when the tournament starts, right. Yeah, it starts on the 31st, which is like, again, like my, blowing my mind. But I should throw the caveat out there. USA also doesn't send their bet. Like, they don't send the uh, their ace. Like, they don't send, like, the USN TDP kids. So um, that'll be – it's always different for them. So it's always, like, tough for them to to make a ton of noise sure. um, in the Holinka. But, I mean, that Canadian team is going to be loaded. <laughs> All right. Fair. 